Hey, you guys. So first off, I want to apologize for not posting a lot last week. I was on a work trip and I left Tuesday afternoon. I thought maybe I would be able to get one more video in before I left. I did not, as you could see. <laughs> and then I also thought maybe my downtime, I could get a video in. I had no downtime. So I apologize. Um, this week should be more of a like solid schedule given that nothing crazy happens and, you know, everything. So we should be good. Everything should be back to normal. I apologize um, and everything. So, uh, but what I wanted to talk about today was Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I was going to talk about that actually last week, but I think this gives me an opportunity to maybe talk a little bit more about some things because I didn't want to maybe include like too many spoilers in case people hadn't seen it yet. So my first part, I'm going to have no spoilers and then I'll let y'all know when I will talk about spoilers. So this is the no spoilers part. <laughs> Generally, when it comes to the movie, fantastic. Like, I thought it was really good. Here's the thing, though. People, ha like, the conversation constantly comes up, or has come up. Since the end of Endgame, there have been, like, no good Marvel movies. I think there have been, like, I thought No Way Home is good. I thought, like, um, Wakanda Forever was good. I thought Shang-Chi was good. Mind you, now I have to remember what else came out during that. Like, those are the big, like, three that I can think of right now. Um, but I also think you have to kind of not understand, but with some of these projects, definitely a lot of them are a continuation of where we were. So when it comes to Wakanda Forever... We're following Endgame. We're following, you know, everything from that plot with Shang-Chi. It's new. Like, it's it's still following Endgame, like, what has happened. But we don't have, aside from the end credit scene, we don't have anything really, like, connecting it. Like, we don't have, like, a Doctor Strange in there. We don't have... Um, whoever else, you know, just, like, in there working with Shang-Chi. Like, we just have Shang-Chi. Like, it's an origin story. And so some of these projects are very much a, hey, we have to build this universe up again because we're introducing new characters. Well, some of them are a continuation. And so with this one, we get you know, our trilogy. And it's still that continuation of Endgame. And I do think it's done, it, it's done very well. Is it 100% perfect? I think there are some things, as you maybe think about it a little bit more, and like, oh, what would I change? What would I do differently? It's still very good. Maybe definitely one of the better movies, definitely a 9 out of 10, but like you still had some, some good movies that came out still, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> Everyone has a different opinion as, as we constantly see. I do think too, though, it helps, like if you have the same director as with some of these projects you do, and if you have somebody who's dedicated to these characters, and again, as you see, they definitely try to keep that, like, spirit alive. They definitely try to make sure these characters, like, live up to what they need to be. And kind of that energy still flows. You know, like, in this case, James Gunn, I think... And again, this is this can be said for any of them. Like Black Panther has had the same uh, team and everything, so you can see it there as well. Um, you know, they really try to make sure the the spirit is still the same, that love is still there, 
and I think that helps a lot as well. Like you, you learn more about these characters and you want to make sure that it's fully who they fully need to be. I will say <laughs> you will have a variety of emotions. You will just go through. You'll be happy. You'll be sad. You'll be conflicted <laughs> because you don't maybe know how to feel. Um, be and the thing is, do they use real animals in this? No. <laughs> At least from what I know, no. But you will still feel bad. <laughs> I came home and hugged my dog. I do that anyway, but I was like, oh dear Lord, like you, you just get sad and you don't want to feel that way. Um, you know, because just the thought process that happens, the villain, like the whole plot line, the story everything works that I think it needs to because it's not like something's added that doesn't make sense. And sometimes maybe in movies that can feel that way to, you know, maybe potentially drag a plot along. Everything works that needs to. I would watch this again. Mind you, some scenes maybe I don't want to see again <laughs> because I will be emotionally destroyed. But overall, it's a very, it's a very good movie. Like what people have said about it, if, if you were like, well, I just don't know. Like if you were skeptical, please go see it. Like if you enjoy a good superhero movie, if you've watched all the other Guardians movies, if you enjoy, you know, one of these characters, one of these actors just want to support it, I highly recommend it. It's, it's good. Now we're getting into spoiler territory, okay? This film is, if you haven't already known, is very much centered around Rocket. So that's where you get all the backstory, that's where you get everything, and that is where you will see a lot of the conversations that he has with a lot of the, I'd say, other animals that have been experimented on. That's where we also meet the high evolutionary, understand who he is, and why he's, you know, done a lot of these experiments. The High Evolutionary is definitely a villain. <laughs> if you have gotten sick and tired of, oh, I'm tired of these villains that are just misunderstood. Well, don't you worry. This one, you will not find anything redeemable about him. <laughs> you will not find one single thread of, Oh, well, he's just misunderstood. No, no, nay, nay. <laughs> he is terrible to a T. So we have a villain. <laughs> now, I don't know yet where I rank him. He's definitely up there in the villains. A lot of people have said he's like the best villain. I've heard some theories where like he's a variant of Kang. I don't know where I put him. I don't know yet. He's definitely up there for me. I haven't gotten there yet. It, it just seems with the mission that he was doing, it wasn't anything like a Thanos slap or slap snap. <laughs> um, it was definitely more, you know, I want to create something better. However, he did literally destroy everything. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll get there when we get there. What? The other things I really enjoyed about this, you really see Nebula and Rocket, like their, not their like relationship, like they get together, but I think a lot of people forget they did not get snapped. So they had five years to really like connect and, you know, grow closer. And I think we see that in this film where, you know, there's a scene where it's like, 
Rocket calls for Nebula and she's like, oh my God, Rocket, you know, like, oh my God, you know, she, she doesn't say it like that, but she's like, yeah, Rocket, I'm here, you know. And I think that's something that some of us maybe forget or we don't, like we didn't think about. And so it's good to see it here. I love Ment Mantis and Drax's like friendship. It's everything to me. I loved 100% Gamora not going with the Guardians. And that might be a hot take for some people, but let's be honest. This isn't the same Gamora. Like this Gamora is different. <laughs> this this is not the same Gamora the Guardians knew. That Gamora is gone, <laughs> and now we have this Gamora. And I think there's definitely that understanding at the end where it's, hey, you know, like, I understand you, you understand me, but they know, like, she's not going to be on the team. Like, they, they know that. And I think for Peter... He kind of started, like, he started to understand that and get that. Um, but I, I, I think, too, you start to understand that gr grieving process a bit. Because if you think about it, you know, not saying he never really got the chance to say goodbye, but he really didn't. Um, and that was somebody that he really cared about. And if you think about his relationship with his mom, again somebody he never really got to say goodbye to and so I, I think this was almost a way to try and whether it's repair that relationship or try to potentially get it back something you know along those lines but finally came to realize you know it, it's not the same and I liked that I liked where it's like, yep, I'm not the same. I'm not, I'm not your Gamora. I'm a different one. Um, because that, that just happens sometimes. I also love with all my heart that we finally, you know, at, at the end, we all just understand Gru. That's like the little inside thing where it's, yep, we're finally part of the team. We understand what he's saying. And honestly... I'm also glad Peter went back to Earth. Peter's fine. <laughs> but I do think I enjoy Rocket. <laughs> so I'm ready to see like, a, I'm ready to see more members of Guardians, honestly. And it's not like, you know, given from the post credit scene, it said Star-Lord will be back. So who knows when that will be, but he will be back. So, you know, it's not like he's gone forever. But that, that's, those are my thoughts on it. It's a solid film. I personally really enjoyed it. I will watch it again when it comes out. In regards to Adam Warlock, I know a little about him. I don't know too much. I know when the film was announced and he was announced to be in it. Like, he is definitely one to be like, not a diva. How do I want to say it? Like, he's all that, you know? And here, I think at times, I felt like in the beginning we were kind of getting that. But then at other times, the majority of it, it was he's not the smartest. And so I just don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, if we're, if we're going to see more, that'll just show like that'll just you know develop and go and maybe it will i don't know though but i enjoyed everything like i enjoyed it nonetheless um if you saw the film feel free to leave your thoughts down below and i will talk to y'all later bye